Today I'm going to show you how to build a Lego Disney mock with Mulan. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. For the last day of Vin Week, I was challenged to build something with a prompt contrasting reflections. Uh, for this year Vin Week, I already built some quite interesting concept like this sadness vignette. And for this one, I was thinking about building some uh, bigger scale character like I did in the past on the channel. And this time I decided to took inspiration from these builds that are actually brick build trophies for Brick Brickscalibur uh, that are designed by Mark uh, Marcus Rollbuller, which is a famous Lego designer behind uh, many fantastic Lego sets. So that's where the inspiration come from. And now let's see what I came up with. So the idea is to build Mulan. So because I need to build two contrasting scene, I decided to have one uh, share uh, base in which I'm going to build the characters in two different stages of uh, her life. So over here, we're going to build uh, the first one is going to be Mulan. Uh, let's say at the beginning of the movie when she is uh, a normal girl in the in the village. So you can see here for the skirt, I started with a round base and then I build up uh, with a lot of different kind of slopes, cheese slopes, modified plates, modified bricks uh, to have studs coming on all sides. So I have bigger kind of slopes and then some finishes touches even with some wedge plates. Uh, the front part is pretty nicely done. Uh, the back not so much because I really don't have many parts in this shade of uh, yellow that I think works very well uh, compared to the image that I was taking inspiration from. On the top, we're gonna transition from the yellow to the dark blue, and then we are gonna have this sort of uh, belt area around the waist. Uh, so the character is gonna be tall and skinny. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is what I, uh, I'm building uh, for the top part of her body. So this will be the shoulders. Uh, you can see we transition from the dark blue to the lime. And here I use this interesting uh, uh, car part, spoiler kind of thing uh, for the, the bottom part of this area. For the sides, I decided to use, I mean, for the arms, I decided to use some technique lift arm. So this is an interesting part usage. I'm gonna connect to this, uh, angle stud. I'm gonna need some parts to fill up these uh, gaps, this awkward gap on the side. So I'm gonna slide in these few plates and then connect the bracket at the back side. Sorry about that. Uh, the only downside with this technique is that the top part cannot really push down uh, completely. Uh, I could have pushed it down removing this stud but then there would be too much gap and it was a little bit awkward so I decided to do, do it this way. On the other side, I'm going to do the same. So here I'm going to slide this part in to fill the gap. Of course, doing this, the part is now loose. But once I connect uh, the, the back brackets and the arms, everything is going to be in place. So this is going to connect over here on top. And now you can see how the character already is taking shape. OK, so imagine that these arms are going uh, let's say folding behind the back of the body of Mulan. Now for the head, I went with something uh, heavily inspired by the brick build trophy that I showed you earlier. So we have these two uh, slopes with a cut corner that are gonna be the front of the face. So there's no details for nose eyes, uh, but the shape of the face is very good. And then using some brackets, I create the air. So you can see here, I have brackets coming out so that I can attach the air at different angles. And then I wanna have the air a little bit flowing towards the left side. So I'm gonna just attach one more uh, piece over here to have the air flowing out towards the left. Here we're gonna connect the head to that uh, cylinder piece in the center. Let me see if I find the right space. There we go. Now we just need to connect this to the scene. So I'm gonna cover that uh, dark, sorry, that reddish brown piece, uh, pieces in the middle. And now we have already one side of Mulan done. Uh, now for the other side, near we are gonna moving in towards the Mulan that is became, became a fighter, okay? The very, very cool one towards the end of the movie. So for the skirt, I decided to start with white. Uh, and then again transition to the uh, blue and this is also because the reference images that I was looking at uh, this is what I found. Uh, I know that this looks like a bit like more a, a big uh, blob of snow 
uh, but actually is, this is supposed to be the bottom of the skirt in white uh, with the knee over on this side and the other uh, leg extended on the side. So you have an idea of the pose. And here we have the uh, two uh, little pieces that's supposed to represent the feet. The back side is not finished. Uh, I could fill it up easily if I need to bring this to some convention. It doesn't take much work, but for now, I don't need to fill it up. Again, you can see studs going uh, to every side and on top, uh, and they use again of many different uh, kind of slopes coming at all direction. Uh, again, we modify bricks and brackets as well. So this is gonna be more or less here. Now, I need to find uh, another interesting build for the body. So I decided to use these uh, sort of round pieces for the waist, and then I'm gonna use a flag piece uh, to have this flowing effect of the, the rope, let's say that uh, work around the waist to flow with the wind on this side. Uh, I'm using some uh, of these uh, slopes for the side of the body. So again, the body is very skinny in the center and then get a little bit bigger on the side. And again, I'm using some technique part in a different uh, color this time for the end. So here we have the arm and the end sort of calling this way. And this is gonna connect here. This is a very flimsy conne connection because it's only here on this jumper and this connection is not very strong. Uh, but if you don't move the model around so much, it works. And this also allow me to uh, twist and get the, uh, the angle that I prefer uh, for this scene. Now, of course, we need to add the other arm. And over there is where I wanna add the sword. So I had a similar technique. So this is gonna connect at the back. We still have another one of these uh, angle stud that connect over here, the arm going up, I had to extend it a little bit in order to have then the, the detail for the end and then the sword that is just plate and tile again with one of these slopes with the corner, with the cut corner. This is gonna connect, uh, here we have two Travis bricks, so two modified bricks there to which I can connect the back side of the body and now it's pretty much solid. And now of course we need to add the head as well. So I had the same technique as that, but I went with the air flowing into the other direction to accentuate this contrasting effect between the two uh, sides of the character. And then I think this is a pretty badass move, okay? So this is gonna connect to the jumper over there. There we go. This for sure was gonna happen. Let's put it back together. Of course, if I need to bring this somewhere, I will have to work a little bit on strengthening uh, the model. Now, here you can see, of course, because she's a bit kneeling here, then the character is a little bit shorter. Uh, probably I should have made this a little bit smaller, eh? uh, maybe one stud less, it would have worked, uh, but this is what I had in my collection. Now, still, I want to find a way to accentuate these contracts. You can see already I transitioned the floor to do different colors but I need to build something here in the middle to separate the two scenes. So I decided to add a little bit of vegetation. So we are gonna add a little bit of different plant kind of thing. And here another interesting part usage is that I'm using some uh, swords, some katanas uh, to uh, create a little bit of vegetation here at the back. This is a common technique used by many in uh, mocks. So we have some interesting plants and are a little bit different on the two sides. So here I'm gonna build a big tree. Uh, this also was a little bit flimsy. I already added a few parts to make it a little bit stronger. Uh, but again, if you remember for this contest, I only had 24 hours to make the mock. So everything was a little bit trashing. Here at the bottom, I decided to add some of these interesting pieces. So this can be, for example, some sort of roots coming off the tree. And this one I'm gonna connect to this Technic brick uh, to create some uh, bigger uh, detail for the base of the tree. This also is not a good connection and eh? they're quite flimsy, uh, but I think it gave a more organic shape to the base of the tree. On top, I'm gonna go with some sort of uh, cherry blossom looking kind of build. So I use some bricks, I use some arch, so we can take out so we can push better. So here you can see also, I'm trying to create a little bit of a different style eh, between the two sides. Eh, these uh, sort of uh, tails, dinosaur tails, eh, 
they are not very strong connection. So here there is quite a lot of leaves on top. So the weight of this uh, will make the twist a little bit. And then I decided to add one more. Now let's see if I can twist this up a little bit, down a little bit so I can connect one more part of this build. And there we go. So you can see now the two contrasting scene. Uh, the tree help a lot to set the difference between the two sides uh, with the early stage Mulan and the fighter Mulan uh, in a cool uh, fighting pose. And you can see also I try to get a transition in the floor, a transition in the vegetation, and also to get the tree to get a little bit of a different shape into the two scenes. If you want another, add another little detail, but this is not, not going to be great, uh, you can add some of these tiles, uh, one on the right, one on the left over here, uh, to fix up a little bit the shoulder so there is not that uh, awkward corner there. Now I'm missing the other tile, but you get an idea. But of course, those are not connected. They're going to be the, they're loose, like a little bit of these uh, flowers that they put coming down on this side. Now, uh, let me know what you think about this build. I think this, together with the uh, Sadness, were my two favorite builds from my campaign for Vinny Week this year. And if I'm not wrong, this one also got me in the top 10 for that uh, particular day, uh, which I was very happy about it. Now, let me know what you think about this one. And if you like this one, I recommend you to go and check out the Sadness vignette that you can find here on the left side. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.